Old Prague Legends During the reign of Emperor Rudolf II, Prague was a haven for alchemists. If they knew how to earn the favour of the Emperor, they did well. A good example was Master Kelly. He owned a wonderful house on Charles Square, at that time the cattle market. Today, this house is not called anything else but Faust's or Mladotus house, due to its later owners. According to legend, the house was occupied by Faust, a person drawn into black magic, who sold his soul to the devil. The devil granted Faust's every wish, but came for him at the appointed time. Faust defended himself, cursed, and fought with the devil. But finally, the devil seized him, broke through the ceiling of the study, and bore him off to hell. Nobody wanted to live here, so the house and garden became desolate. Only after many years, a poor student called Mladota appeared, and because he had nowhere to sleep, he banged on the door of Faust's house. Nothing happened, so he went inside. The house was in a pitiful state, and one room even had a hole in the ceiling. But he had nowhere to rest his head, so he made his bed in Faust's bedroom. He fell into a deep slumber and slept peacefully till morning. He then set out to inspect the house and soon discovered Faust's study and laboratory. There were lots of flasks, instruments and strange books here. And on the table in a bowl, there was a silver coin. The student took it and ran out of the house. He reveled all day, eating and drinking until he was full. But in the evening, he got cold so he returned to Faust's house. Behold, there was a fire in the fireplace, the bed made ready, and again a silver coin in the bowl the next morning. This happened every day. The student lived it up, bought expensive clothes, and played host to companions in the tavern. However, they were curious to know how a poor student suddenly had so much money. He told them everything, but only kept silent about the silver coin. But soon, silver was not enough. He wanted gold, a lot of gold. He began fumbling through Faust's books and soon discovered their secret. From that day onward, he vanished without a trace. His companions thought it strange that he had not come to the tavern for so long so they set off for Faust's house. They searched and cried out, but Mladota did not answer. Finally, they reached the study. The place was a terrible mess. The furniture was broken, the books torn up, and the laboratory full of glass fragments. The hole in the ceiling was covered in fresh blood. This is what happened to Mladota for not taking seriously what the devil had left as bait. So when you walk along Charles Square, stop for a moment in front of Faust's house and remember that a person has to work to deserve something good. A pact with the devil will come to a bad end. Thank you.